today's video, we are going to be installing the Latchet RV Door Lock, the high security for your RV. Welcome to Living Free and Fun, food, travel, reviews, and how-tos. We have done an unboxing video for this, so check that out for more videos, for more installation videos. Subscribe, like, it'll really help the channel. Um, okay, so we've got our keyless fobs here. A new door latch if you need it. We will see. This is the first time I'm running through this. And we've got our keyless unit right here. The first step is going to be removing these small screws right here, just for the battery section. It wants us to put the batteries in, and we are going to do that. So that just slides out that way. Open that up, and this product came with the four batteries. We'll just open that up. Slide this back in. And put the screws back in with the smaller screwdriver. The next step is removing your old door hatch. There should be four screws at the back of the door and two screws on the strike plate. So we're going to go over there and remove those. And this should be able to just slide out after that. Easy. That's the old key deadbolt and door handle lock. Now we are going to install the keyless entry lock. So place this down on a flat surface. The instructions are asking on a flat surface so you don't scratch anything. We are going to remove this back face. So I need the smaller screwdriver again for these. Oh, they're pretty loose. You could obviously do this with a drill, but always be careful. We're just going to do a screwdriver today. Not too many screws in this. fourth one is just hidden behind that latch. Okay, we've removed the screws. Uh, it also asks, make sure that these are disconnected at this point, and don't worry about this red one, it's just an antenna. So we're going to remove the back face from the front face. So we're going to separate those two. Next step, we are going to take the front face and install it right on the door. Be careful to, you don't want to cut any of these wires. They need to be pushed through first so that they're not stuck because we'll need to use these later. So we are going to push the wires through first and then slide lock first and then snugly on the door. 
our front face matched up pretty perfectly. I don't think there's going to be any gaps or anything like that. But the product did come with a seal if your camper needs it. We have a Jayco 267 BHS 2022. That seemed to fit perfectly, but I'm going to hold on to this because we're going to have to see if that is waterproof and sealed properly. Okay. We will make another video about a month or two from now with a full review of this product to see if it's been functional, if there's any problems or anything like that. So subscribe again and check back later. Next step, we are going to install the provided strike plate onto the door with the two smaller screws. So it comes with the door plate here uh, and four screws. These are the two smaller screws right here. We're gonna grab those and I'll meet you outside. So hold on to the front plate so you don't uh, knock it out. This is pretty sturdy so I don't have to hold on. Next we are going to attach the back plate to the front plate. Uh, let's cut these keys off first. And before we attach it, we are going to connect the connectors. And it says it should make a beep when we do so. We've got the batteries in there, so it should be live once we do that. This is a little bit tricky with one person, but not too bad. There we go. So we got the beep, so we know it's live. Now that we have these connectors connected, we can now attach the back plate to the front plate. Be careful of where you're pushing these wires. We don't want it stuck on the side or anything like that. And then, this is actually our second take, so make sure you put this, the latch is closed and not open, we put this right into that hole right there. When installing that, make sure before you tighten the screws that it is level. Ours was a perfect fit, but yours may not be. So yeah, like I said before, if yours is open sealed or there's paint or it's not a perfect match, they have provided this little seal pad. Ours was perfect. It was level when I screwed in those screws. Be careful not to over tighten. Uh, ours all fit perfectly, so no problems there. After we have that installed, we're going to test out the default code. If you lost your, your keys, or maybe one of your kids runs back to the RV, they can key in a code that you set for it. I think automatically it comes 1234 is the default. We're going to check that, that it works, and then we're going to program in our own code. Okay, perfect. It's all working. We have that un or that's locked right now, so I'm just going to unlock it. Perfect. Now we are going to reprogram from the default code. To do that, you have to enter into the programming mode. To do that, you press and hold 8 for 2 seconds and without releasing, you press the lock button. 
you'll hear it activate. Within five seconds, you're going to put in the default code, press lock, and then you're going to put in your own code, press lock, put in your own code again, and press lock, and it should be complete. We're going to try it now. Okay, so I'm going to try out that new code I put in there. Okay, we are good to go. Write down that new code. That code was just for the video, so don't try anything. We are going to put in a new code after this video. Now we're going to program the keyless fobs. If you ever forget your code, there is a code reset button on the back. And you'll need a little paper clip. Use my phone SIM card extractor so just something small and that's we're going to actually have to use that when we are programming the key fob so to activate your fob you need to come back here to turn the whole system the fob system on i believe you have to go to on right here so turn that to on and right here you have the fob learn and that's where you can reset your code as well for the code on the front plate so what we need to do is you take your small pin, whatever fits in there, you're gonna press and hold the lock and you're gonna hold that in there for two seconds until it actuates. Actuates. Okay, so that is set, lock. Perfect, easy. And exciting. <laughs> I mean, we've got a manual deadbolt on the back, and you have your classic handle as well. Okay, so that was pretty easy. What was nice about this product is that we didn't have to make any new holes. It fit perfectly in the previous spot. I think most of the door handles are pretty universal. We have a Jayco 267 BHS, and it fit perfectly. But the product does come with items to help with different type of installations as well. So in the comment section below, tell us, did yours fit perfectly? Do you have any questions? Let us know. Um, our door plate was the only problem and that was nothing to do with the uh, keyless entry door handle. So in production, they put the screws in a way that rotated our door plate. So even our last latch, was very hard to shut. So I had to, uh, I used the new door plate that they gave, but it was almost exact to what we already had. Um, so I don't think that made any difference, but I just had to fiddle around with the screws. I used the original screws because the screws that they gave were a different size and they weren't threading properly. So I used the new door plate with the old screws and now our door shuts perfectly. Uh, I would say that installation, uh, super easy. Um, you don't need any previous knowledge. Just follow the instructions, follow this video. They even provide a video as well, apparently. But that manual was easy. Like, comment, subscribe, and check out our next videos.